Hello and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix, where today we are going to be going through that door we haven't gone through here. But first, I did some things off camera. Like, hours worth of things. I specifically went out to grind up the levels of my uh, drive modes. So they're all level 6 now, the highest level I can get them. Because I wanted to have more abilities and stuff. And in the process of doing that, I ended up also grinding myself to level 50. And I also decided to go and get most, if not all, the puzzle pieces that I could get to by now. That didn't require me to go somewhere I hadn't been yet. So I've got a lot of those. And if we go to our collection... I have completed this puzzle, hooray. And this puzzle, hooray. And this puzzle, hooray. This one's still incomplete, but it's close. We're getting there. And I'm pretty sure everything here is in the right spot. And this too, not complete yet, still pretty far. But again, I'm pretty sure everything that we've got is in the right location. So, hooray. That's the things that happened off camera. Yeah, now that we're level 50, that means that we're on par for the hardest, or rather, the highest level place that we can't, or that we haven't been yet. So, yeah. Can't get that piece. Apparently, we need glide, which is a thing. Hello, chest. Oh. I guess the chest can wait just a little. Hooray. Oh, hello. So yeah, uh, just compared to the last episode, this is already like miles better in terms of combat efficacy. But, since we're already level 50, we can actually ignore these guys for a while. Ah, we found it. I'm just like, Whoa. I can handle it. Okay. Here we go. Oh, what's wrong? I can't go any further without a password. Do you have any idea what the password might be? Mm. Well, we only got this photo. Yeah, the one Donald ate up. It was in the box right next to the photo. Hey, that's it. And some the wise loved ice cream. Okay. What's the name of the flavor? Sea salt. It worked. Hmm. Let's go. We'll be here to hold down the fort. Say hi to Kyrie. You bet. All right, gonna dip my toes in there. Take a quick look around. Oh, hello. Doesn't really seem there's too much reason for me to be killing the guys in here because I'm not seeing anything other than just this other door. Ooh, chest. Stop with the throwing. And let's grab that. 
ultimate recipe. That sounds fancy. It also looks like that's all that was in this particular corridor. But we'll kill that thing because it was almost dead. Hey, look, a piece. And it looks like that piece is all that's in here. It is nice having high jump level 2 and air dodge level 2 and dodge roll level 2 and the whatever that thing was called again, level 2. Got them all. Just as regular Sora and it's so nice. Uh, let us touch the beam. So now we're in the Are fake. We back in the same place? We're in the fake version where Sora was Roxas, yeah. or where Roxas was Roxas, rather. This is the other Twilight Town. Yeah, where Roxas, Roxas was. Is Twilight Town. That one, yeah. There's gotta be an entrance into the Dark Realm somewhere. Let's split up. Always with the splitting up. Hello. So... Mm hmm? There. Wow, we found it right away, huh? Oh, I remember that thing, maybe. This is it. I kind of want to go exploring rather than... Oh. So we can't explore that way. And we can't explore that way. Okay. So much for going exploring. Guess we gotta go in. What is this place? Well, which way should we go? Riku, Kyrie. Uh oh. Also, we've got so much combo plus adding hits to our combos thanks to having it's leveled no up our stuff. Don't stop moving, or the darkness will overtake you. Get going. Why? Don't ask, just do it. You okay? I kidnapped Kyrie, but she got away from me. After that, Syx caught her. He's a member of Organization 13. Syx got it memorized. Now go save her. Okay. Leave us alone. Oh, so it's just us now, huh? But I guess Axel is helping. can also do two finishers in a row again.
I wonder how many nobodies we're going to have to actually kill here. Looks like we're about to level up again. And maybe just this one left. Yep. Uh-oh, now there's a bunch. You're fading away. Well, that's what happens when you put your whole being into an attack. You know what I mean? Nope. Not that nobodies actually have beings, right? Anyway, I digress. Go. Find Kyrie. Oh, almost forgot. Sorry for what I did to her. When we find her... You can tell her that yourself. Think I'll pass. My heart just wouldn't be in it, you know? Eh, it's a joke. <laughs> Axel, what were you trying to do? I wanted to see Roxas. He was the only one I liked. He made me feel like I had a heart. It's kind of funny you make me feel the same Kyrie's in the castle dungeon now go Axel neat this leads to... Ah, uh, come on, let's get going! The house is looking pretty empty, huh? I thought I'd get a little enjoyment watching Axel throw one last tantrum. But he went a lot quieter than I thought. Perhaps he was ready for it. Perhaps he put his existence on the line, and won what he'd been longing for. Wait a minute! How would that even be possible? We don't exist, remember? What you're saying goes against the laws of nature. Then perhaps he bet his non-existence. Either way, he came out a winner. Oh, Axel. A grifter till the end. That's absurd. He won nothing, and is nothing. He couldn't stand the emptiness of being without a heart, and that led to his demise. He was foolish and weak. But... Weakness has the power to awaken that which is dormant. It is clear that through his actions, however foolish they may have been, Axel has touched Sora's heart. Perhaps he will soon awaken. Who, Roxas? That's my guess. Oh, this is the big city under that big castle. Axel said Kyrie's in the dungeon. Then we'd better find a way to get to that castle. Oh, 
All right. So, can we go back now? All right, nothing to find in here. But maybe now we can explore Roxas's Twilight Town. Yeah. No, nope, can't go in there. Come on. Dang it. All right, I guess we're getting railroaded. Real mean to just show us doors, but not let us go through them. Oh, hey, these little guys are back. As opposed to the more advanced versions of them. And we've leveled again. I'm going to assume that they're just going to spawn for a while. Maybe forever. So I'm just going to go on through. I see what the chests look like here. And having seen that, just going to make sure. Okay. Yep. None of them back here. And can't jump over that. window. That sure is a heart-shaped moon. Yeah, that's Roxas. Yeah, don't want to limit form. I feel like I'm supposed to lose this, or else this is supposed to be just a really ne Oh. It's an event fight. Or not? Okay, I, I thought we were done. Yeah, I, I feel like I'm supposed to be losing this. Okay, we weren't supposed to be losing that. Um, that's not nice. Also putting us back here so we have to reopen all the chests is similarly not nice. So we gotta beat Roxas, like, actually for reals, despite him being able to just tear through our health. And the only drive we can enter is Limit, which, I mean, while it could be a little helpful, it gets rid of our magic, which I, I feel like having access to Cure isn't the worst thing in the world. But then again, if we're in MP recovery mode, then we could use the limit form to... What is this? But yeah, we, we could use the limit recovery form 
to get our MP back as well as heal ourselves, so actually having access to that drive is real nice. So, Roxas does have some nasty attacks, but he seems to be behaving generally a, a little bit better. It'd be nice if he was vulnerable during this. Like, what am I supposed to do about it? Enter limit form. That's what I'm supposed to do about it. Even though in limit form I lose, like, all the abilities I rely on to be competent. Yeah, okay. Um, I feel like what I need to do is enter limit form and then immediately revert. Like, just use limit form as a heal. Because that way I get to keep my abilities, but I also get the heal from entering the form. But we did get closer that time. I would like for him to use less of his I'm just going to be invincible in the middle for a while move, though. I've said it before, I hate invincibility phases. So he's invulnerable while doing this. We just kind of got to keep dodging, I guess. Though, as soon as one of those knocks me into the air, I'm just kind of boned. Okay, he's kicking our butts this time. Roxas, can, can you behave? Yeah, we have done nowhere near as well as we did the last time. And we've already used three full heals. And now he's doing this again. Just gonna mash my dodge roll in hopes that... Nope, it's not enough. Why can't I flinch him this time? Like, without being able to flinch him, there's not much I can do. Like, if I can get a combo in, then, yeah, we can do real damage, but... The, the second attempt, he flinched pretty well. But the third attempt, he was just like, nope, not gonna. through here trying again please let this one be the one where i win we do have healing items that i need to take advantage of at times Got him flinching. Like, we've already done more damage than we did for the entire last attempt, I feel like. So maybe if I just run instead of rolling, as, as long as I keep constant motion. Okay, that was almost the answer. Um, stop! I really hate that there was nothing I could do there. The moment I got hit, my death was decided. Oh, 
Like, when the individual things do so little damage, I feel like they shouldn't be able to combo me to death like that. Like, if they didn't cause me to levitate up into the air when I got hit by them, then maybe I'd have something I could do about it, but they knock me into the air, and when I'm in the air, there's a lot that I can't do. Come on, buddy. I, I need you to behave. Ah, dang it. I really... I, I don't like the things where it's like, oh, guess the thing that you need to hit first, because... Like... Sure, I could have pressed up instead of trying to go down, but like... Dang it. Stop, 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 stop! Okay, I think what I need to do is hit circle for those rather than square, because square causes me to go towards them, which doesn't help. Oh, Joy, he's doing this again. I really hate this move. Okay, yeah, circle is the correct button. All right, we're getting hits again. It does feel so much better when we can actually do damage to him. Okay, I need that. Ow. Okay, our only healing that we have now is from items. Oh, great, he's doing that, and thus invulnerable, and we're probably going to lose some health because of it. Hooray! Okay, not much health, but still. Ooh. Oh, no, limit form takes four. Um, okay, that that's something. We got health. Please, buddy, I need you to not do this. At least there was no overhealing from that potion. Come on, Roxas, just just let me combo you, please. Can you stop with all the freaking laser pillars? Ah, dang it, I went past it. All right, now we can enter limit mode again, so that's nice. And hey, we're getting a combo again. Come on, come on, come on. Oh. I was mashing the Kiraga button. And if we had gotten it, then we might have won, but no. We got stun locked. I really don't know what determines whether I can actually hit him to to flinch him and do a combo. I do not know what determines whether he's just gonna keep attacking me or whether I can attack him. I don't like it. I do not like this fight. I do like that I seem to be able to consistently get this good opening. Seems if we can hit him, like, immediately after he finishes a thing, that's when we can actually do something worthwhile to him. Yeah, 
Yeah, that seems to be it. So, like, if he launches us against a wall and he's right next to the wall, then we seem to still be able to do things to him. Yeah, being able to do comeback strikes really helps. So I've found the strat. Get hit, but only get hit in the way that lets you hit him back right after. Yay, I think we've won now. Okay, not quite yet. Okay, okay. Come on, come on. Let let me hit you. You don't have much health left. Please. Got it. Do I win? Hooray, I win. Hmm. You seek answers. So why'd you add an X? Roxas. That is right, the new you. Look who's finally awake. Huh? Axel. Or maybe I have it wrong. Might be time to sleep. Soon we won't be able to talk like this anymore. Does that mean it's time for me to go back to where I belong? You know, I've been thinking about something Namine said. Roxas, are you really sure that you don't have a heart? 
Is it possible that we all have one? You, me, her? Or is that just wishful thinking? Feel for a pulse. I don't know. I can't just look inside. Yeah, I guess not. But I figure if there is something in there, inside us, then we'd feel it, wouldn't we? And if so, no, never mind. Come on, don't leave me hanging. Sora will find the answer we're looking for. I know he will, because he's me. <laughs> True enough. the old times still got it memorized the day we met and you got your new name you and I sat right here and watched the sunset yeah this place is home me Hainer Pence Bolette we've shared a lot of adventures you'll see them again I know you will yeah, you're right. Well, I should go. Sora's waiting for me. Yeah, I suppose he is. Man, this is some good ice cream, huh? Take care. Right back at you, buddy. They do have feelings. Disappeared. Then me and Donald had to fight some nobodies. Oh, he said he defeated Riku. Who said that? That guy in the black coat. Roxas. Nobody can defeat Riku. Y yeah, you're right. The black coat means Organization 13. He must have been trying to trick you. Yeah, that must be why we didn't see him. Huh? You must be tired, Sora. Come on, let's just find a way to get into that castle. So many chests. Let's see what this weapon is. Better magic. And the sleeping lion. Oh, it's got combo plus. That means it adds one to our combos. But I suppose this is better. Plus, it has a special effect. Light and darkness. D don't know what that ability is, but... It's probably something. No save point around here? Guess not. I know this episode's gone a little long. I'm just going to open up these chests. And then hopefully find a save. Save point. Dead. 
dead end? There's gotta be a path somewhere. What are you going to do with us? You're the fire that feeds Sora's anger. That did not answer the question. No. Sora's in danger because of me. So this is opening a path, huh? Well, looks like it. Kyrie, we're almost there. Hey, look, a save point. And a box. I mean, I guess a map is something. And let's just look at what this guy's got. I wonder what our new recipes were. Hello. How do I get dense and twilight crystals? I need one of each. And also a bunch of Orichalcum Plus. Like a lot, apparently. I want it. I want it. But I can't make them. Do I need these things? Well, I need the Orish Alchem. Just one, though. Might be worth making a moon amulet. Yeah, it doesn't use anything other than the Orish Alchem that I need. So let's make it. And we won't do the XP increaser, so just that. Neat. And then this drawing doesn't use anything that Ultima Weapon uses. We've already got a drawing, haven't we? Yeah, so I don't need to make one. All right, well, that is going to be it for this episode. Join us next time when I guess we go into that castle. See you then, friends. <laughs>